Welcome to the channel rather dubiously called Rufio. I'm the best Yugi tuber in my street, a very average player who uses this platform to trick you into thinking I'm good at and capable of playing Yu-Gi-Oh on any kind of level at all. Before we get started, why don't you hit subscribe for me, even if it's not because you secretly enjoy bad content, but because you pity me. I need every bit of help I can get. Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. In case you can't tell, I sound absolutely rotten. I've got a bit of a sore throat and all nasally and that kind of thing. I've got a bit of a rotten cold coming on, hopefully not coronavirus because that would suck, but I'm pretty sure it isn't, so I think we're okay. And even if uh, even if it is, hopefully you can't catch it through YouTube video, so we're all good. Um, if you guys hear any crazy noises in the background, I'm recording these at work. I'm taking full advantage of the fact that nobody's using the break rooms at the moment because there's only a handful of us in the office because most people are working from home. Um, but if you do hear any crazy noises, probably people just banging around, walking around. Hopefully no one walks in whilst I'm doing the videos and thinks I'm some absolute fucking nutter talking to my phone like this. Uh, because, well, yeah, uh, to be fair, they already know I'm fucking crazy anyway. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys today, and you will notice me looking down a few times. You'll have seen in my other videos. I've got a notebook on me to try and keep some train of thought because I'm quite foggy at the moment. But unfortunately, content waits for no man. And uh, I wanted to get some bits out and some bits that I've been thinking about. And so that's all here for me to look at. So today I wanted to talk about August. You'll notice that I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with this deck. Uh, I tried to play it for a bit last format um, with the scrap engine. I, I really enjoyed it. And when it went off, it was absolutely insane and bonkers. And any, any game that I didn't brick, I was just straight winning. Uh, unfortunately, I was bricking way too many. So the question is, is where are August now with Master All 5, with the new releases, the upcoming releases, and, uh, you know, overall, how has the deck changed? Well, I've kept some ears out and my eyes out a little bit on the community just to see how the deck develops, because when you've played a deck for a little while, it's always interesting. You hear that noise? That's the rain. That's the rain. I don't think you guys can see on the camera, but fuck my life, that's loud. Anyway, going back to where we were, before we were rudely interrupted... Um, so, August, Master Rule 5, it doesn't change much in terms of how the deck plays. Um, the only cards that they use outside of Lynx, for the most part, is Xyz, and of course, they're using Dingirsu. Uh, and nothing will change in that respect, because Dingirsu is probably the best card in the deck, let's be real. Um, however, we have seen the release of Lib. Lib? I forget, remember all these fucking names of Nightmare. Can I mean to change this shit? But anyway... Lib has been a strong addition. Uh, lots of decks are seeing uh, World Legacy Succession being played as well, uh, as well as the uh, the World Legacy Counter Trap thing. I can't remember the name of it. Anyway, so we're seeing that. We're also seeing scraps still used in unison with the Lib combo, and it is pretty strong, but the question is whether it adds more bricks. Uh, some people have mentioned using the tuner, uh, the scrap tuner, to take advantage of Crystal Needle Fiber. Uh, again, the question is, is that good enough? Do you want to be adding more bricks to a deck that has traditionally struggled with bricking ever since it got hit on the list. Um, that's entirely for you to decide whether those benefits outweigh the negatives. For me personally, I think it's too much, but you may say that I'm wrong and I'd be happy for you to prove me wrong, of course. Uh, it's always good to see a deck that I've played with do quite well. The question is now, what direction does the deck take? Because a lot of people are actually starting to consider going second options. I've seen a lot of mention of playing Mech Knight engines and go for more of a overall world legacy build with that orcus splash in rather than just an orcus build and that may may be the way to go uh gear Sue is coming up the question whether we'll get it in europe anytime soon is another one uh given the fact that there's been a freeze on product releases here for those of you who are familiar the issue is that we can't get the product out of belgium out to the other countries so we may actually see a discrepancy in north america which the vast majority of my audience is from north america so this will Probably still be more relevant to you than anybody else. Um, but the release of Gear Suit is going to add a lot of strength to that particular style of deck, that going second option, that could potentially just break boards, plow through, and the scraps will add to that as well. It is important to note. Uh, the whole scrap combo is very, very good at, at popping stuff going second. It's good going first as well if you've got a card that you don't mind losing. And if you if you don't know how to do that combo as well, we've got a we've got a note for that as well. I'll probably just pop a link in the description if you want to check that out on how it all works. But in terms of the benefits of the link zones and that kind of thing, we're not really going to see much the benefits Orcus in that sense. Uh, they're not making an awful lot outside of links anyway, so do they gain? Who knows? I'm not really sure that it adds all that much. But it doesn't necessarily hinder the deck either, because 
like I say, they only really use Dignesio outside of it, so nothing much changes in that respect for them. Um, but there is a lot to talk about with the deck just as a whole. I think we're going to see a lot of experimentation with Orcus as an engine again, uh, particularly with those World Legacy builds. Uh, and I think that we may actually see a, a bit of a hike in representation. I think a lot of people have been waiting to see what Gearsu brings to the table. I think the Mech Knights on their own potentially are going to see a lot of play, uh, or at the very least be splashed in, although we may see it more pushed towards the Invoked Engine again, because the Invoked Engine is incredibly strong. So that is something to consider. There are still going to be some consistency issues of this, I'm pretty much sure. Um, maybe someone's going to find a secret spice out there. I found that no matter what I did, I couldn't get it to be, you know, one of 50-50. It was either a super brick and you lose, or it was a non-brick and you won. But hopefully you guys have had a bit more time to experiment with that for the new builds. Like I say, we don't necessarily have a format for another couple of months anyway, at the very least, uh, because of the whole coronavirus lockdown and that kind of thing. So it is all pretty much hypothetical at this stage. I would like to hear what you guys have been trying out, if anything's worked particularly well for you so far. If there's anything that you think's a dud, or maybe you think the deck is dead entirely, who knows? Certainly let me know down in the comments. If there's anything you think that I've said that's kind of stupid or doesn't really make much sense, definitely call me out on it. I will definitely try and clarify what I meant to say down the bottom. Like I said, with that foggy mind on the go at the moment, so who knows? Is what I'm talking about. I certainly fucking don't. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video and hopefully you found it somewhat entertaining or at the very least somewhat informative. And if you haven't already, you should definitely hit subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the garbage content I put together for you enough to hit subscribe and maybe even drop a thumbs up and a comment. Before you go, be sure to check out the links in the description to help support the people who are making this channel a possibility. Thanks again for checking in, and I'll see you in the next one.